Good day friends and welcome once again to my Easy Gardening channel. In my last video, I introduced you the topic on soilless plant growing medium. And today, as I promised, I will uh, demonstrate how to formulate my favorite uh, soilless potting mix. And this is based on peat moss and propagation sand and some fertilizer and lime additives. So it's time to head outdoors to my garden and join me. Okay, so this is the uh, peat moss uh, that we will be using as the base for the formulation of our potting mix. And I have actually used part of this. I think uh, the remaining amount uh, would be about 36 to 40 uh, liters when expanded and fully hydrated. So um, to start with, the peat is very dry and quite uh, repellent of water. So what I did was to add this granular uh, soil wetter called Saturade. Uh, we need about 50 ml of this uh, Saturade which we will sprinkle on top of our peat moss and then just add water and we'll wait for a few hours and by then uh, the soil mix shall have absorbed enough water so I now sprinkle uh, saturate on top mix just the top of it with I will add water to it So we'll just wait for a few hours and then the peat moss will expand and it should be ready for mixing with the pumice and the other additives. Okay, so these are the ingredients of our, of our soilless uh, potting mix. Uh, we have the peat moss and you can see that it is already uh, sufficiently moist and it is ready for uh, mixing with the other ingredients and we have the propagation sand and then we have the fertilizer additives and then we have two uh, types of lime dolomite and the garden lime and i will uh, describe each of these ingredients when we mix them all together okay so we're all ready to mix all the ingredients together uh, our pit moss is about 36 uh, liters and then we add into it uh, 4 liters of uh, the propagation sand and then the fertilizers first we have the uh, ammonium sulfate uh, 85 grams per 40 liters potassium sulfate 40 grams per 40 liters and then we have the single superphosphate 90 grams per 40 liters then trace elements this will be the source of all of our micronutrients I mean the essential micronutrients that's 16 grams per 40 liters Then we have uh, garden lime, that's about 90 grams per 40 liters. Our pit moss is uh, partially decomposed organic matter, and being partially decomposed, it releases organic acids, that is why there's an acid reaction. So we make sure that we add lime into it to neutralize acidity. So the pH should be just about the level that the plant uh, needs about. Uh, 6 to 
And then we have uh, the Dolomite, 90 grams per 40 liters. Uh, one advantage of using a Dolomite is that it is also a good source of uh, magnesium. Magnesium being a macronutrient for the plant. So we're now ready to mix this. Okay, so we now have our newly formulated uh, soilless potting mix, complete with all the ingredients including fertilizers and lime. And you can use this 100% uh, for plants like vegetables or your, or your ornamental plants uh, in containers or in pots. But if you want to mix this with old uh, recycled potting mix, you can also do that to save on cost. Or if you have specific uh, plants like cactus and succulents or bromeliads, you can reformulate this by adding a bit of pumice or propagation sand to suit the requirement of the crop. And also, uh, you can add a controlled release fertilizer when you do the potting. Uh, just add a bit of this that should guarantee that the plant will be able to take up nutrients uh, for the next uh, six months. I'm going to show you an example look, on how I can use my potting mix as a base for growing other crops like bromeliad. We have potting mix and then we have uh, pine bark which is used for orchids and then we have hummus. Now the ratio is two parts uh, soilless mix, one part of the orchid potting mix and then one part of pumice. So I'll put one, two, and then two potting mix, and then one part of the pine bark or the orchid potting mix, and, and one part of uh, pumice. So then I will add to it about a cap full of slow release fertilizer and I'll mix this all together oh, so this is the vermilion that we're going to repot I'll just shake off the extra uh, medium that I used before so this is it and then we put our newly mixed into our pot into which I will grow my uh, bromeliad. There you are. Okay, so that's it. Um, did expect our Brunilliard plant to be really happy uh, with this uh, growing medium. So that's it for today, my friends. And I hope uh, you have gained some insights on the nature and the use of soilless potting mixes. Please join me in my next video, and that is on how to create a beautiful uh, dish garden. Uh, this will entail not only the technical aspects of growing crops, but also about art. So once again, please feel free to give your comments below and to share and subscribe to my easy gardening channel. Bye for now and have a nice day.